I can't believe what I'm seeing. The great Mozart himself. Who is this guy? And why is he here in this empty theatre? Wolfgang, can I ask you for a favour? Certainly. What can I do for you? Wolfgang, would you accept to sign my little book of autographs? Of course. I'd be honoured. To my number one fan. There. Right by the autograph of Handel. Were autograph books a thing back then? I'll have to look that one up. When will we have the good fortune of seeing you play the marriage of Figaro in Prague? If it stays between you and I, I can confess that the Emperor didn't really like it. To perform Figaro here would seem quite inappropriate. I knew the Kapellmeister would have kept a few treats in his box. Surely the Kapellmeister would have noticed the unlocked box? And if so, why is he storing things in here when he already know that people can get into it? What a remarkable performance, Mozart, sir. I believe you appreciated the show they put on. Mozart, please excuse my foolhardiness, but would you give me those ribbons on your jacket? Madam, excuse me, but I have to refuse. I don't give away that kind of souvenir. Please, just give me a little something. Would a smile content you? Of course not, dear Mozart. I'd like to know the real name of the commander in Don Giovanni. That is the prize I want you to give me. Very well. I can reveal that the name of the commander is... Leopold. Leopold? Your father's name? I know a doctor in Vienna that you should see. He'd help you sort out the origins of your inspiration. Thanks for suggesting it. Still, God is the sole origin of my inspiration. My best friends and I have just sat through the performance of your new opus. Oh, really? What did you think about it? The piece reminded me of that old, charming Italian musician. Do you remember him? Vivaldi? He was Venetian, that's for sure. But I'm not sure I see your drift. Don't pretend to be so naive, Mozart. I am sure you draw your inspiration from one of the melodies composed by the old Antonio. Certainly not, madam. What you say is bordering on insult. I didn't mean it, Mozart. I am but your fondest admirer, be sure of it. You're here quite late, Mozart. Also, I wonder why my husband is not home. I'm tired of waiting for him. Didn't you find the people surrounding your husband lately a bit suspicious? Johan hangs out with all kinds of people, and most of them are vulgar. Did you notice any new faces around him lately? The same as always. Except for that Keller and a Prussian guy whose name I don't know. Alexa, I am in dire need. I have to get the money Johan owes me urgently. What money, my dear? The share he promised me on Don Giovanni's grosses. I could lead you inside my husband's office, but in order to do it, you would have to give me a strong incentive. How? Tell me. I would forever be in your debt. I am so attracted to you. Still, I doubt you'll accept it. I certainly wouldn't want to tarnish your honor of a married woman, dear Alexa. My honor? 
But this would be but a glorious mission for me. I'm not sure I understand. Mozart, it's quite simple. I want a part in your next opera. That's it? But certainly, I'd be delighted, on the condition that you consent to submit yourself to a few rehearsals. Uh, we can make a first try immediately, if you wish. I'm fairly certain that Mozart gave her a strong incentive the other night. Hasn't he met Keller? What did they say to each other? I don't eavesdrop on Keller or my husband's conversations. Still, I hope that Johann has not become some kind of informant for the police. That would be awful. And why? Because he could report us. No, I'm just joking. I seem to have a dryness in my throat. Could you prepare a bit of warm water with some honey so I can clear it up? Your wish is my command. Well, we have some honey. But we do not have any water. Seems about right. Still, if I pour the warm water first, it'd be better. There is only one room that we haven't explored again, and that is this one here. I was going to say explored yet, but we've been here before. What a nice intention. That's exactly what I need to clear my throat. I feel much better. Now order me and I'll do my best to please you. There's a vocal piece I've been thinking about for some time. I'd like to hear you sing it. Something new? That's even more exciting. It is, but it's also a bit challenging. It goes something like this. <laughs> what a charming tune. I hope I can do it justice, maestro. I am all yours. Oh, dear. Well, here goes nothing. That was perfect. Your voice, <laughs> combined with your beauty, just make you some kind of divinity. I'll dream about you when I compose my next opera. Mozart, your flattery makes my head spin. So be it. I give up. The key to Johann's office is hidden under the bust of a German musician. I will say no more. Find the key, bring it to me, and I'll open the office for you. I can't believe how terrible that went. And yet he said it was perfect. Ah, well, as long as Mozart is happy. I do feel like a couple of those were very unfair.
although it has been remarkably generous at some points as well. Anyway, the main thing is that we passed. Thank you, my dear. I'll open the door for you and keep watch to make sure nobody shows up. I'll put the key back in its place later on. Oh, hi there. Uh, I saw everything. You seem very sharp, Papageno. Would you like a part in one of my operas? A part? Uh, talk to my agent. Oh, you'll be compensated for your trouble. We'll most certainly find you some kind of present that'll make you happy. Oh, so you can talk. I don't talk, but I sure can listen. What you just said contradicts your very words. Uh, if you had a brain the size of a nut, you would have understood me. Papagino, the books are notes. F E A T C. I probably should have let Mozart play that until the end, but we've got the information that we need. The libretto of Lorenzo da Ponte for the marriage of Figaro. Without his wits and understatements, the emperor would have banned such an irreverent material. A bottle with extracts of autumn crocus. Haufer believes this cheap medicine can help him with his aching joints. Myself, I sure don't need it. Now this definitely looks like there is an adjacent room, but we can't seem to enter it. That's some kind of summary, and so far it's useless. Right, so we have the music notes A in book form. Ledgers with tags. Ledgers with tags. Ledgers with tags. Wow, three times. Hmm. Well, we have this coffer. But I'm not sure if we know of any code for it. I'm not sure if we know how to get the code. That's some kind of summary, and so far it's useless. We can't really progress until we have unlocked this coffer, and I do not know of how to get the actual code to unlock it, so I'm just going to have to cheat. Ah, here we go. Well, this just shows that I did not discover this during my practice run. So I'm guessing that we need to press each cylinder in the correct order. And I believe it starts from here.
So, did you get hold of Johan's money? Yes. I managed to open the safe, and I am forever in your debt. I expect you to be, Mozart, but not so fast. What do you mean, Alexa, dear? I am an honest woman, and I require that you only take the exact amount of what you're owed. Of course, I concur. But how can we determine that sum? The account ledgers are there. I guess we will find all the science we need in these. Then we will establish the exact extent of your credit towards my husband. Hand me the right ledger, and I'll make sure you are paid what Johan owes you. All the science. Okay, we cannot speak to Alexa for some reason. This looks like a list of the books of accounts of the opera. The scribbling is minuscule. Halfer must be anxious to hide something, and I can't decipher any of it. Or he just likes to make the most of the space on the paper. Right, why can we not do this? Long last. This seems to make sense. Let's see. So here are the reference of the ledger I'm looking for. Number 527, Don Giovanni. Well, that explains why I could not use this on the drawer, because this was in my inventory. Let's check. Number 527. That's the book I need. That's it. Nine ducats and two florins. Just pay yourself, my friend. Thanks for everything. You don't know how precious your help has been. If you allow me, I will now take my leave. You're not leaving so soon. We have so much more to discuss. I beg you, stay with me like a true gentleman. Hmm. And what happened the last time? All right. I'll stay for a few more moments. That's the least you can do after what I've done for you. Nothing could be more true. Thanks again for your help, Alexa. I'm teasing you, my friend. You know, truth be told, there's nothing I can refuse you. Mozart, admit it. Are you as enthralled by my beauty as you are by my singing talent? Certainly. But I only have music on my mind. That's not what the gossips say, Mozart. I've been told that you stray quite a bit when your singers bear the trappings of beauty. I heard the rumours. When I was younger, I did have a few whims from time to time, but it was no more than a quick distraction. Please, let me be another quick distraction. I need to go back to my hotel. I have to complete my work, or Johan is once again going to throw a fit tomorrow morning. My husband? I almost forgot him! Very well, go then. But I hope you'll be back. One of Keller's underlings guards the hotel. If he sees me, I go back to prison. The pole of the assistant lighter. He must have forgotten it. That's a lucky turn for me. How could you forget a massive pole? So that wind from the east will end up driving me crazy. Here I'm safe. The policeman can't see me. I need to find a way to lead him away without getting noticed. There's something under this market booth. I can hear it rattling under here.
Whoops. Uh, I need a better angle to throw the stone. And that angle is right here, for some reason. Rats. They seem pretty reckless. Yeah, for some reason we need to stand at a specific spot to trigger the generic animation. I'd better not get close. They would munch my shoes. What's the confusion? Who goes there? I was certain you'd end up having trouble with the police. Keller has sent his men out after me. Keller is a shifty character, if you ask me. Come to think of it, you're probably right. You'd better try and escape. I am grateful, anyway, for our precious friendship. Oh, I see where you're going, Mozart. You're my friend whenever you need a favor. I need my watch back. You know the pawn I left with you? Do you have enough money to settle the bill? Of course I do. About the rest of your stay, you need to pay in advance. That would preclude us from getting into these unsavory discussions again. Look, I had a bit of a difficult day, but I assure you I'll give you all I have. Oh, hold your horses, Mozart. You know, I kind of like you. I'll fetch the damn watch for you. Ah, here's the coffer in which I stored it. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> the lock seems a bit jammed. Would you check if you can open it? A oh, pee careful. Underneath the lid, there's a vial of acid that will destroy the contents of the coffer if you force the lock too violently. Well, that's an old Persian trader's trick to fend off thugs in the desert. I've been assured that the mechanism is very safe. Why? Why... Is it Okay. I'll just accept this is what is happening. I recognize this armory engraved on the lock. It's the one from the epochs. And why is it our responsibility to, responsibility to open it? That's just my luck. I twisted the key trying to open the lock. I'll have to do without it. The coffer is half opened, but there's still something blocking the way. Oh, when I apply the tip of my finger on the back of the card, I feel some kind of invisible letter on it. Somebody has also written the initials I-H on the front side. Hmm, I wonder who. The letters are starting to appear, but the ink is slightly sticky and transparent, and I have a hard time reading it. That's better. It's starting to appear. The signature is... Your friend... Havel. Here's the rest of the message. We have been the victims of a masquerade. The proof of your innocence stands at Epoch's home. Good. I know where to head to as soon as I'm done here. Before we leave, let's get that clock. Good lord! The acid destroyed the watch! This is unsettling. My epoch is ruined. 
Oh, Mozart, you are a walking disaster. I did tell you to be careful. How is this our fault? He put the damn watch in this thing. Surely this is his responsibility? He owes us. No more watch, no more collateral. You need to pay me now. Very well, that settles it. Frankly, Mozart, I thought you were starting to get on my nerves. Wow. We're even now, my friend, and don't come back. I need your help. Somebody has to distract the policeman standing guard outside. I need to leave as discreetly as possible. You've got some nerve, Mozart. You want me to distract an agent of Keller? Put my ass on the line? I'm not a henchman for your crimes, Mozart. Look, I'll get you a new watch and you'll be able to keep it. Are you offering me a bribe, Mozart? It's like a disease tonight. Ten minutes ago, the guy in uniform tried to extort money from me. The only thing I'm doing is to offer to justly compensate you for your trouble. I don't want it. I am incorruptible, sir. And I'll prove it to you. I'm going to distract your policeman for free to prove to you that there are still some honest checks in this city. Oh, um, if you use the back door, you'll find some capon and some wine from Siodicia left in the kitchen. <laughs> Oh, hello, Schultz. Hold on. Weren't those the colour of the English army? I'm pretty sure red and white was... Mozart. So, did you find some new leads about the incident? Follow me. I can't be seen here. You look like you're trying to flee something or somebody. What's wrong with you? Somebody is trying to pin the murder of Anton Epoch on me. Don't talk so loud. That's impossible. You were always with me at the temple. What can I do to help? I believe there is a link between what you call the incident and the father of the poor young lad. Mishka Epoch? He's an important character, but he deeply disappointed me lately. I don't understand. What happened? He left our lodge to join the Rosicrucians. I thought that trying to accept Anton, his son, as an apprentice would mend the ties between us. I was wrong. What do you mean, wrong? I went to his home to tell him myself of his son's sad passing, but he seemed like he couldn't care less about that tragic loss. That's weird. Nothing is worse than losing a child. I sadly know it from experience. Rosicrucians dwell in the occult, and that leads them into some kind of blur where they can't really tell the difference between life and death anymore. Somebody is trying to hide the fact that the Emperor has disappeared. And that somebody may very well be Mishka Epoch himself. I need your help, Venerable. Oh, it's difficult to do anything against Epoch. He's the master clockmaker of the town. He's in charge of mending the masterpiece on the tower, the astronomical clock. The situation is also complicated by the fact that Epoch and the other Rosicrucians of Prague have pledged allegiance to Werner, the Prussian Prime Minister. You mean that... They could betray the Emperor? You'll need to find out for yourself what their intentions are. But I think all this is linked to our case. I wonder what the role of the mechanical beetle is in all this. Beetles are symbols of wisdom and wit in the ancient rites of Egypt. I'm afraid no wisdom may be involved here. I suspect a dark conspiracy. Still, I hope you can unearth the truth from all this. What's the link with the Egyptian rituals? The Rosicrucians are trying to resurrect the magical rites of ancient Egypt. They turn their backs on the reason that we so rightly revere. What scheme is then pursued by the Rosicrucians? The Rosicrucians are allied with Volna and claim they are superior to Masons. They pretend they are guardians to a document written by the Founder himself. The first manifest. Well, they claim that Hiram himself wrote it, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm sure it's a fake. I have to head back to the temple. I bid you farewell, Mozart. What are you going to do now?
The square by the clock. That's where Epoch lives. I'm going there without more ado. 